You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! The Hyatt Toys Aliens Colonial Marines Xenomorph Soldier comes with three extra set of hands, a face hugger, an egg, as well as a grate that is a stand you can put the figure on. Just talking about the uh, the grate stand really quickly. So it's Kaipari 2014, I like how it says Aliens 3, which is obviously not the uh, film's title. But it makes me happy that they could possibly make some Alien 3 Aliens, so that's really cool. Some people really don't want measurements as graphics, so for the time being I'll have it just displayed on screen. So there you have, it's um, 5 eighths, 2 and 5 eighths by about 2 inches for the stand. Oh, this is really cool, first impressions. And the Xenomorph itself, from foot to top of the head, is about four and three quarters inches tall. And of course, for the tail, you can bend the tail and you can find out about that size. So, the egg is about one and three fourths inches tall, and the face ogre is about two and three eighths inches tall. Oh, this is really cool. Let's see if I can just stand them on its own without the stand. Probably not, but we'll find out here. Before I get into the review and the detailing and all that, I just wanted to say that yes, indeed, she or he uh, does not stand very well on its own, so you will definitely have to use the um, included stand for one of the feet here because the footprint is so small and the uh, figure itself uh, is very heavy, so that's unfortunate, but see if she stands with the stand and of course you don't need any tail support and she does so it's really cool that they included that at least um, didn't like totally screw over the customers that's a very good job by Hyatt Toys well um <laughs> I uh, tried to just move this arm that literally just broke off, just snapped off at the elbow. So that's very unfortunate um, because the detailing, I was about to just get into the detailing before I got into the articulation because the detailing of her looks really great. So uh, I guess the rest of the review, I'll be doing it with one arm. So that's really unfortunate. So yeah, I mean, this thing looks amazing. Um, Besides it missing an arm, I guess it can be a battle action feature. I mean, the sculpt is nice. Uh, the paint is, it paints all right. It's all black rather than like a bluish tint. And then you have some brushing there of like the brownish over the hips. And then you going down the legs, you can see more of the brown. So that does look really good. And the back of the tail has also some of the brown here, you know, the dirty grungy look, as well as the back side. So, I mean, it does look really good, especially the, for the four inch scale, so awesome. Uh, the jaw does not articulate, but um, the shoulders do go up, so at least that wasn't breaking on me. But looks like the, the left side is hindered a little bit for some reason. For some reason, man, I don't know what's up with the arms. 
They just seem really gummy. And she also has a ball joint for the abs, so it goes on a 360. I mean, it has a bendy tail. It's pretty awesome. I mean, that's included in a lot of Xenomorph products now. The hips are decent. I mean, they move around. You can go 360, and they're a little bit of a hinge. Hinge. Uh, knees. And then um, feet. So, and those are also swivel besides the hinge. It's just, it's, it's a wonderfully detailed piece. It's just unfortunate that that just happened. <laughs> oh man, and what, for what you get, there's a lot of nice accessories like the stand, like all the extra hands you get, and you get a, a face hugger and an egg. And this is like nicely painted and everything. I'll just show off the egg. I mean, nicely sculpted. It's got that weird looking Giger, like just that nasty like saliva look that the aliens have a little drool, organic shit. <laughs> and, uh, oh no. It's very heavy, it's, it's, it's got some heft to it. Not like too heavy, but it's not like a hollow. It's got some heft. And then of course the face hugger itself, it's pretty nicely detailed. It's a nice little face hugger. It's a really cool accessory, a lot of stuff included here. Man, ah, uh, it just, Mm -hmm. I was gonna get product shots and everything afterwards and then edit it in the beginning, but now my whole new style is all messed up. Damn, it sucks. 360 for the head. And I'm doing this all out of order, but um, she is made of like a plastic, obviously a very uh, kind of a cheaper plastic for the elbow joints here. It seems like everything here is nearly the same, but of course this has a glossier texture, glossy texture, not glossy, and then not glossy. So, so let's just see uh, how easy and stuff it is to pull out like a hand and put on a different hand. Let's throw on like this one. Ooh, you see that? That bent. See that? It warped a little bit there. Ooh, I don't know about this, guys. I do not know about this at all. Oh my god, dude, it's not going in. That's what she said. Or he said. There we go. That was really gummy. I don't know about changing out these uh, these hands, guys. And of course, they're gonna go on a 360, but they don't really hinge around much, so. But let's try it on this one. What's different, take a different, uh, Oh my god, do you see how much that stretched? That stretched a lot. I don't know about this, guys. I feel like, um, Morse. My door's not closing. I don't have a good feeling about this. My door ain't working. What the fuck's he saying? I think we better rethink this. Oh my god. There we are. And there he is inside. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about this. Uh. Fuck now. I, I do not recommend changing out these hands, honestly. This, 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 this plastic is so... See how it's moving like that? Dude, this hand is not going in. I guess it's in now. Good God, man. So here is the uh, Higher Toys Alien with a four and a quarter inch Kenner figure. And I would say the Kenner figure is too big in scale. So I do not have any, unfortunately, um, soldiers, Marines from Higher Toys. But this is the closest I think we'll get. This is a G.I. Joe figure. In comparison, I'll get closer also for you. For the Hyatt Toys Alien, of course, he's a little bit taller on his grate, but that is essentially the sizing. So we can, let's see if we can get him to hold on to him somehow. And I don't think that'll be possible. 
Oh my god. Well, he's not gonna stay. Or he might, look at that. Probably won't stay for long. But you can see it looks really cool. Nice little diorama piece for collectors. There's no way in possible hell that this will probably be available um, for kids to play with. There's no way. I don't think any kids would be watching Alien anyways. So over uh, one month later, uh, Haya Toys has sent me a replacement uh, Xenomorph Soldier. I think they're sold out at uh, where I got it from, the Big Bad Toy Store. So I'm pretty grateful they um, replaced it for me via themselves. And um, they did guarantee that the joints for the upcoming guys, I'm assuming the new Marines and stuff that are coming out in the newer Aliens, you know, this is still the older one. Um, the box a little bit smashed up uh, per usual from stuff from China. I don't see any trademarks besides here. Here we go. Uh, 2012 so it looks like it's probably the same exact problem we're gonna find out here soon and whilst I unbox um, tell you that um, they did not respond to like the website contact form on their uh, web address the reason I got this is actually not just because I'm like I guess I'm a famous person but um, their Facebook, you can see how crushed that is. Their Facebook is the one that they replied to and gave me a replacement from. So if you are in need of a replacement figure from Haya Toys, you need to go to their Facebook and message them. Head, uh, the hand came off just then. I didn't even touch that. I think it just fell like straight up on its own. Um, There you go, it's plugged in a little bit better. Yeah, it's not gonna fall out as easily. But let's just really quickly do some exchanging of hands. So here's the left hand, might as well just do that right now and see how it works. Uh, so that seems a little more solid than the previous one. Oh shit. Seems better. Uh, not as like flimsy, I'm gonna try the other hand too. Okay, so this does seem better. Let's try this other hand. Ooh, that took a while to come out. And honestly, I think it just busted it. Yep, I think it's somehow broken. Even though the, the hole itself looks fine. Um, you see that there's no like circle there. So I think it somehow got stuck because the rest of these have uh, circles. I still try to put it in there. Uh, it's not really going in. You know, Hyatt Toys gave away these to reviewers, like big time reviewers, um, with a lot of subs, like when they first came out in 2014 ish. And um, Anthony's Customs was um, honest enough to talk about the figure's faults. So I really give a, a big shout out and thanks to him for caring about the consumers. I'm gonna be super careful here and try to bend the elbow articulation. Okay, so that worked. Uh, I think that worked. Um, what else busted the knees? It does seem still very gummy. Like, very fucking gummy. Now, the previous Xeno, the butt snapped off this tail here. The elbows, both of them snapped off, I think, and then um, one of the knees snapped off. So, uh, I ended up just throwing it out completely and trusting that Haya wasn't lying to me, sending me a new one. They didn't, so good job on them. This does seem like a better quality than... The previous one that, that I bought from Big Bad Toy Store, uh, unfortunately, it's still, it's, it's already busted. One last shot at putting in a hand. Let's, yeah, I'm screwed, I guess. Yeah, I think a tab got, tab stuck in there. I guess if I shove something in there, it can kind of fit, kind of fit a hand. You can see there it's kind of shoddy. 
So it really doesn't look that good. Wait a minute, so um, as I am like shifting through the hands right now, um, it looks like this tail is about to come out. You can see here, uh, as I move it, there's like a little um, breakage area. So I'm just gonna continue to, to move it around and it's gonna probably snap off soon. So might as well just wait for it, I guess. And there you have it, it's starting to come off just by moving it around, and there you go. So as cool as this thing is, ah, uh, man, as cool as it is, it does not get a recommend. It gets a thumbs down from me. Um, two warrior soldiers, Two terrible breakages, and uh, if I would have continued as I hit my table, I uh, probably would have messed up the elbows like previously and the knees. Really cool accessories included, you know, the stand, the egg, the face hugger. Unfortunately, um, it just it just breaks, and um, it's it's not a good thing at all, guys. And be very careful and weary of when you're buying these type of deals, not just the Hyatt toys, but just in general. When people get sent stuff, they're probably not going to be saying anything negative about them. So Anthony's Customs, I guess, shout out to him once again for like being honest with the people. Even though I don't think his broke on him. He's a very detail-oriented person because he does like customs and artwork, and he is an artist. So um, he understands design and in art, I say more than your typical toy reviewer. And uh, I think that's very valuable. And uh, yeah, don't always take what you have on the internet for granted because it may not be the truth. And the truth shall set you free. So right now for me, my experience, that's the truth for me. So thanks guys very much for watching. End of line. I'm Brando and I fight for the users. Thank you for choosing. See you